Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carace.net, and this video is going to be reviewing the HTC IMEI modified keyboard that can be found on the XDA forums. Again, this video is about one out of ten reviewing different keyboards for the Android operating system. All the videos are going to be, or excuse me, all the applications are going to be tested on the Samsung Fascinate from Verizon Wireless, as you can see right here. Um, in the beginning minutes of this video, we're going to cover the basic features of the keyboard and then after that we're going to get into some of the more advanced settings and advanced features that you can enable um, to kind of give you the best overall experience with this keyboard. Check out our article on carace.net for further details of the other keyboards, uh, our recommendations for what kind of user you are and which keyboard you should get and all that fun stuff. So let's jump in. And we already got the settings loaded up, but let's just go to the basic stuff for now. So when you first download the keyboard, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings, go to your language and keyboard, and just make sure that the green check mark is next to the HTC IMEI mod. So now let's go back to our messaging and let's just type up one. Okay, as you can see, a pretty pretty basic layout, um, QWERTY keyboard, it has numbers and symbols above the letters and what's nice is when you hold down a letter, well, no, okay, let's not do that one, let's do T. Okay, for you can swipe all along the bottom, you can swipe closer to it, basically this allows you to be able to see all the um, accents on certain letters, so I think you, for instance, yeah, okay, so you has a bunch of them. So you can kind of insert your own symbol, insert the accents for different languages, and do it really easily by swiping below like this. Um, let's backspace there. All right, let's, let's type out our phrase, dinner and a movie tonight. As you can see up top, it has the uh, word prediction. You can do space for highlighted words to select that word and also insert a space. Um, with the HTC IMEI keyboard though, however, you cannot do punctuation except for the easily accessible punctuation down here, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So dinner and a movie tonight. Movie. Okay, as you can see, tonight is highlighted in green, and if I were to do a period, it would add tonight with a period. But if I try and do a question mark, as you can see when I push on the number symbol to get to that question mark, it automatically puts in a space and completes the word. So putting in a question mark, however, will put it right next to the word rather than a space away, which is a very nice feature. Um, so as you can see, different than other keyboards in that when you go to your number selection, it automatically completes the word, but at the same time, it's not that different in terms of uh, speed and essentially the the basic function of what you're trying to do, just add a question mark after a word. So let's delete this and let's check out the speech to text on this guy. Dinner and a movie tonight? Question mark. Hopefully our Wi-Fi is going to work. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it puts in the phrase with the question mark. So the speech to text on this guy does accept punctuation. Um, kind of also a real quick feature, uh, you can activate swiping on this, so if I swipe down, come on, it hides the keyboard, if I click that, it goes back to it. Um, if I swipe to the left, it engages the shift key, again, puts it on caps locks, and once more, puts it to lowercase. Swiping to the right gets me to my alternate keyboard, where I can choose XT9 or ABC for the style. Swiping to the right once more gets me to um, my third keyboard, and then finally swiping to the right again gets me back to my original. So that covers the basic settings. From here, we're gonna go into the, oh, and uh, you can hold down your, oops, sorry, did not do that right. You can hold down your smiley, f or your emoticon button, and you can, again, can have a selection by swiping along the bottom. So you can insert that in your number field. It's pretty basic, you click on the one out of two to get to your alternate symbols. Go back to your ABC to get back to this. And again, those are the basic features. Now we're gonna jump into some more of the advanced features. So holding down the microphone button is gonna get us to our settings, which I accidentally did before. Um, the HTC IMEI modified keyboard is one of the most customizable and advanced keyboard in terms of features that uh, out of all 10 that 
we will be showing in these YouTube videos. So keep that in mind when going into the settings. There's a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, I can't cover it all in one video, so I'll scroll slowly through each menu so that you can kind of read the subtext below each item and get an idea of just, again, how expansive in terms of settings this keyboard is. So keyboard types, as you can see, there's the QWERTY, the phone keyboard, and the compact QWERTY. Um, you saw all three of those earlier when I was swiping to the right. Um, so you can engage one of those to be your default to start off with. Uh, your keyboard language again, you can set your language there. Your text input, this is going to be your predictions, um, your corrections, completions, your feedback settings. And then what's also nice is it has a calibration tool um, to kind of make it even more responsive of where you're typing and also kind of adapt to your own typing style. The user dictionary, you can go through and see the words that you've added, add new ones, delete ones, and edit ones. So that's kind of convenient and helpful. Uh, these mods are done by Jonas L at XDA, and it looks like this is version 2.7 or maybe version 27, um, but probably more version 2.7. Um, the user interface, again, a lot of stuff in here. You can do different uh, keyboards, you can do space hacks, smiley hacks, edit the smileys, um, do domains, whoops, um, yeah, okay, um, with the key width adjust, which is really nice, is it basically, again, adjusts the widths of your keys, you can adjust the height of the keys, um, again, basically customizing this down to where no one else will ever have the same keyboard as you. Um, next we have our text input, so you can uh, decide what to do after words, separators, smileys, when to insert periods, um, again pop-up delays, Android smileys, replace characters, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, voice input, again you can uh, do an alternate voice server and you can also do English or other languages, let's see what I'm actually kind of... Oh, so you can choose to show the English, show the English voice button or um, show the non-English one. Let's go back here. Gestures, so this is what I was talking about earlier. So again, I put swipe down as hide keyboard. I put swipe left as cycle keyboard and I put swipe to the right as shift. Uh, you can do triple commas. You can do a circle key, cycle keyboard. So again, these decide which ones you want to cycle through when you insert those swipe commands. Uh, we have the prediction and dictionary, the user dictionary, again, sound and vibration, language selection, and then finally, a really great feature of this is you can export your settings if you're changing phones, or if your friend really likes how you set up your keyboard, you can export those settings. Uh, email that file off to him and then he can import it and have basically exactly what you've set up on their device. So a lot of great features. Um, a lot of people in the dev community really love this keyboard again for all the customizability it has. Uh, definitely make sure to check out our article on www.carace.net for more details on this keyboard and about nine others in our full keyboard face-off review that some of you have seen featured on Gizmodo and gsmarina.com. Thanks for tuning in and hopefully you've enjoyed this video and look to our YouTube channel for the rest of the nine videos. Thanks.